Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Cobra Built YouTube channel. My name is Shannon, and first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for stopping and watching today. Second of all, guys, don't forget that if you guys get me to 10000 before the end of the year, I am giving away a $1,000 Amazon gift card or $1,000 via PayPal. And if you guys want to miss out on an easy chance to win 1000 bucks, by all means, I appreciate you watching nonetheless. But today, we are doing a modification to the Cobra. And it's honestly something that you guys have been very curious about. I think a lot of you are in situations like I am, where you guys have cams in your motors that don't produce a lot of vacuum at idle, and your guys' brakes kind of go downhill after that. And I know a lot of you guys, you know, question going to a 93 Cobra booster and everything like that. But honestly, guys, if you want to eliminate all of that and put the biggest freaking hot dog cam and freaking pollute the earth cam or whatever cam that you want to put in your motor this is the easiest brake modification you can do to a fox body if you guys haven't watched my videos on this prior we are doing hydro boost some of you might be wondering what is hydro boost you know what what am i even looking at here well this came out of essentially a 99 to 2004 mustang gt cobra mach 1 whatever they're all the same this utilizes your factory power steering pump so instead of using vacuum to assist your brakes you're using your power steering and obviously you know if you don't have power steering you know this probably isn't the modification for you but these hydro boost units you know some of you might be thinking to yourself you know this is probably like a 500 hundred dollar unit right here wrong i bought this for one hundred dollars you buy them used i don't know if you can buy them new i would check like o'reilly's or wherever and see if you can buy something like this new however i did buy a new master cylinder just because i want this to look pretty much new i cleaned all the black and everything up a lot of you might be thinking to yourself you know does this just bolt up to a fox body and does it just bolt in straight to the firewall short answer is no but the long answer is yes it does with the help of a company called maximum motorsports but pretty much this goes on the back of this and you might be thinking to yourself now well how the hell do you even get this off well in the kit it comes with this you pretty much hook it up to a 3 8 ratchet and it comes with a keyed way on the bottom and all you do is you stick it over it and pretty much grab your 3 8 breaker bar and break it loose it is going to be very tight i will say that i had to put this into the vise and pretty much pull as hard as i could to, uh, to break that but obviously I've loosened it. So all I have to do is pretty much just do this and it comes loose. Take this off and it's just, like I said, it's just threaded on there. It's not reverse thread or anything like that. There it is in there. And then this plate comes off like that. And like I said, it has that keyed position on the bottom. So you can't hook it up wrong. It's, it's not like it can go on 20 different ways and it just sits there. And the nut pretty much holds it on there. No, it's keyed. So you can't get it wrong. And also you guys might be thinking to yourself, you know, where did you get these little doohickeys? Well, I got these from Late Model Restoration. And like I said, if you guys watched the video last week, I did not tell you guys what is inside these boxes. Well box because i already opened up the one and that one box included my factory fox body power steering cooler which if you are running if you are going to be running hydro boost i highly 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 recommend running a power steering cooler so that was in the one box but in this box it is sve's brand for all the lines and everything and i will say this this kit is for a coyote swap so it's for a power by the hour speed drive setup however you can use this with a small block forward and small block forward power steering pump. Everything for the lines and everything are the same. As long as you have a Fox body rack, 87 to 93 or it, it might even go a little bit older than 87 but i would highly recommend putting an 87 to 93 power steering pump in it and then it includes the lines that go down to your rack and everything like that and it in turn comes with all the fittings and everything that you need so i'm pretty sure this black one will go right into the power steering pump it comes with these two an lines so you have an lines it comes with a hose for this and i'll show you guys how to run all these hoses i mean like i said i mean this can be very intimidating when I did this all to Jason's pace car, it was very intimidating. And at the time, there were zero videos on this. And I will say this, there are zero videos out on the Maximum Motorsport kit. So I'm happy to be working with Maximum Motorsport to bring you guys this video. No, that is not a paid sponsorship. 79 to 81 cars, even though, okay, so this is my dad's 82 GT. These cars 
are pretty much the same freaking car, but underneath, like the transmission cross members are different. Brake pedal assemblies are different. I mean, there's there's a couple things that are different. They're not like dramatically different, but but enough to be a pain in the butt. And I had asked them if this kit would work on a 79 to 81 car, and they weren't 100% sure. They had never received that feedback before. So here I am being the guinea pig that I always somehow finding myself end up being, and we're gonna try it out. Looking at everything, everything looks the same, but you never know until you start tearing it apart. So let me stop yapping and let me show you guys kind of step-by-step step what I'm doing here and how you guys would want to approach something like this. Obviously, first step I would recommend is taking off your master cylinder, taking off the lines that go down to your proportioning valve. Then I would also take off down on the steering rack there, right in the slip joint, you'll have to take out that bolt because very unfortunately, you'll have to come in here and I've already kind of taken some steps to prepare and you will have to take out your steering column which is very unfortunate because i don't like taking stuff like this apart you got to do what you got to do to have awesome brakes so this is just one of them sacrifices hopefully none of the clips on the steering column break because i've heard those are prone to breaking so i'll take my time with that stuff but i will pick up with you guys once i take out the steering column i'll show you guys the steps that i did to have to do that well, i got the steering column out and as you guys can see i mean it's pretty much ready to come out well i guess all you see right now is wires but when i pulled the steering shaft out it didn't like pull this out of the u-joint down there or not u-joint but rag joint so we're gonna try to see if we can leave this in there it's kind of floppy dong as of right now so hopefully we can slide the pedal assembly out without having to take this out but as you guys can see i, I have at well you guys can only see three of them right now but i have all four of the bolts that hold the booster to the firewall out i have the brake pedal undone i have the clutch pedal undone and a couple more bolts and the whole entire pedal assembly should come out but now i have to try to finagle the brake booster out of there i have a feeling i'm gonna have to take off my strut tower brace to slide that out of there hopefully not hopefully i can just pull it out enough i'm gonna try to disconnect the reservoir from the booster and then take that out disconnect the line so that hopefully i can slide the booster out well, let me take the booster and everything out right now brake booster is out as you guys can see i will say this it would have been a lot easier had the valve cover been off and the strut tower brace being off however i was able to kind of turn it sideways and pull it out through here and up through here but you know so far so good and where it's going so far so good there are roadblocks and i'm just waiting to hit mine i'm going back inside the car here i think everything's pretty much off except for that bolt right there all the firewall bolts are out i think and you know i will say i'm looking at everything right now and sorry for some of the wires going everywhere so i put it all back together i'm gonna tidy up like these two wires but i'm looking at it here and this might not be the case for your car because like i said this is a 79 to 81 car this particular model is a 1980 i'm looking at it and I think I can get a wrench up on this side and a socket up on this side. So let me try that quick and I'll report back to you. All right, status update. As you can see, there is no brake pedal. However, I did have to undo that top bolt just so that it would swing down. But over here, there are these brackets and stuff in the way that I didn't really want to take out because I didn't think it was necessary, obviously because I got it out. But I'm gonna take this one over to compare against the Maximum Motorsport pedal. And then when you take the factory one off, this will come out of inside the tube and you have to transfer it into your new one. I don't know if they're side specific, but just make sure that they go in the same way that they came out. All right, as you guys can see, this is, th this is the difference. So I was right. The stud does get moved up just a little bit to accommodate for the hydro boost being up a little bit higher but other than i mean it's pretty 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 much identical like i said just make sure that when you slide these out of the factory one those rubber or i guess plastic inserts go in with that you don't want to forget those otherwise your brake pedal will be will be sitting there bouncing around but then in your kit it also does come with this plastic washer as well to accommodate for this one because this one's on there and they give you a new one which is nice so all you do is just slide that old girl on boom She's on there. Now for the next step is this guy right here. You will be taking this guy and you will be doing exactly as the directions say. I will say read the directions because obviously the more you know, the better. I'm just kind of free balling it here, but you will go up to your firewall and right where this part goes in through the firewall, you will take this, this guy right here and it'll go just like this. And you only want to go, it looks like about the seven o'clock position and the three o'clock position. 
from there all the way up. And you just wanna bend the metal just a little bit. I was able to snag the Hydro Boost in. Now, however, you remember how I just said I was kind of waiting for my first roadblock? Well, it has appeared. Weirdly enough, the Maximum Motorsport Strut Tower Brace does not work with the Hydro Boost. Even though it's like a Maximum Motorsport kit, it for some reason doesn't work. You can kind of see right there, I can't even I can't even get the cap on. And I have this loosened up, so I'm gonna have to make a call to Maximum Motorsports and see if they can't, you know, I'm not gonna ask them to custom make me a brace or anything, but criminy. I would really, really, really like to run the strut tower brace because believe it or not, you do feel a difference with the strut tower brace. As for inside the car, everything's pretty much buttoned up. Not, not like actually buttoned up. Nothing is like bolted down. But I did have to kind of cut, where is it? There it is. I had to cut this out of there just so that this could sit right up against the firewall because it did not want to fit down in there so i just had to cut this out and it kind of seemed like it was kind of falling out anyways so no harm no foul there um nothing nothing too out of the ordinary here and like i said guys if i can definitely do this you can 1 million percent do this. I was actually really dreading taking the pedal assembly out. As you guys can see, I kind of got around that, which realistically, like I'm sure it would have just dropped out and I would have had to pull it out. No big deal. And it would have came out. And I was kind of looking up there to begin with to see if I could snag it out of there. And it, it honestly looked like it could have but it's honestly not that big of a pain in the butt to take the pedal assembly out or at least just drop it down enough so that you can get the brake pedal out. But yeah, I'm gonna put everything kind of back together here and I will, like I said, have to call Maximum Motorsports about that because I really, really wanna run both. And obviously I would rather give up the strut tower brace rather than give up the hydro boost because I'm not giving up the hydro boost. Just a little status update on the strut tower brace hitting the reservoir. I did call Maximum Motorsports and I just wanna say Maximum Motorsports has been the real freaking MVPs through this entire process. I told them what was going on and they said that they're willing to work with me to resolve that. As for the kit, I would definitely give the kit an easy 10 out of 10, very easy to install. But let me put the steering column and everything back together and make it look like this never came apart. And just like that, it looks like it never happened. Wait a minute. I can have that all up on my carpet. All right, there we go. That's a little better. No, before you think, I did not just cover it up. And I actually did vacuum it out with my little Hansy Nancy Milwaukee vacuum. But now that the kit is done, now we kind of have to move on to the plumbing. So we pretty much have to run the lines from the Hydro Boost all the way to the power steering pump, down to the rack, to the cooler, and everything like that. Like I said, the kit that I do have is pretty self-explanatory. I would highly recommend before you do this, watch Late Model Restoration's video. I will drop that in the link below. It gives you a pretty good understanding on how you need to run all these hoses. Since I am doing this on a small block Ford and this is for a coyote swap, there are a couple hoses that don't get used. So in my case, like this big thick hose, I don't use because this would go from the reservoir down to one of the other hoses I think it meets up with. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is I don't I don't use that. And then everything else in here I do use, but I will give you guys kind of a step-by-step -step of what you need to do and how you need to hook everything up. And just let me be clear on this as well. You don't need to buy the late model restoration kit because believe it or not, this kit it is 450 freaking dollars which i can't really tell is if it's a good deal or not because I think it's a little bit on the pricier side just for a couple and hoses and then all the correct hoses and everything like that. You can go on some of the forums I did see and kind of piece this kit together and save a little bit of money there. Or you can just use the hoses and everything that come from a 99 to 04 Mustang. There's there's a million and one ways to do, to do this. I just kind of went with the plug and play kind of deal here. So like I said, it comes with all the fittings and everything that I will need. But I'm going to have this be draining for a little bit. So I'm going to kind of undo some of my lines here, get those out of the way get some of my lines ran for my hydro boost and then i'll show you guys what's what what do you think ripley what would you think of this kit shake if you really liked this kit oh you started shaking before i even said that i don't know if that counts can you dance can you dance she likes to dance she'll do this she'll she'll dance <laughs> look at her festive little collar though she's a little festive little mastiff but the kit is installed it's pretty honestly self-explanatory i had to watch lmr's video to kind of understand even though i installed the same kit before on jason's car i still had to go back and re-watch everything but i mean everything is pretty self-explanatory i mean if you're watching that video pretty much you don't use the big hose that goes from expansion slash reservoir tank to the pump because obviously there isn't a big nipple on this pump but your drain pretty much just runs right into your cooler and then this pretty much goes right up to the hydro boost kit and then this goes in your cooler high pressure side goes right into the freaking rack and then i'll take you guys up top right now i'll show you guys all the cool little lines but yeah all, 
all the lines and everything are ran and they run right back to the hydro boost here. So pretty much everything down here and it's like I said, all very self-explanatory. I still have to tighten down all these, but you get the idea. And Ripley's over there going freaking crazy at how easy this install was. Like I said, Maximum Motorsports said that they're going to take care of me. So I think that they will because they're a very, very awesome and reputable company. Literally, if this bar just went over this way just a little bit, probably about three to four inches, and went back, it'd be perfectly fine. But I'm sure they'll get it all squared away. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about this kit, drop a comment below and I will try my freaking best to help you guys out because you guys always help me out with liking and subscribing. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you could please consider hitting that like and subscribe button, that greatly helps me out. And at the recording of this video, we are at 7,100 subscribers, almost 75% of the way to to 10 freaking thousand. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below and I will try my very, very best to get you an answer. Big shout out to Maximum Motorsports for helping me out with everything and answering my dumb questions. I will keep you guys up to date on the Cobra. And we are heading into winter and I did order something big coming for this 347. But stay tuned until then. I will see you guys next Sunday because I do upload once a week, every Sunday at noon, Central Standard Time. Take care, guys, and have a fantastic day.